In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 88 and 89 in which we're going to evaluate a presentation. A well-designed and organized presentation requires thought and preparation. An effective presentation is focused and visually appealing, easy for the speaker to present, and simple for the audience to understand. Visual elements can strongly influence the audience's attention and can influence the success of your presentation. In step one on page PowerPoint 88, it tells us to click on the reading view on the status bar. And then as it goes through its presentation, and as you watch this, keep in mind when you're evaluating your presentation, it's important to remember these following items. Number one, you want to keep your message focused and your text concise. Now don't put every word you plan to say on your slides. Your presentation text should only provide highlights of your message. So you want to keep the audience anticipating explanations to the key points in your presentation. Supplement the information on your slides with further explanation and details during your presentation. And try to limit each slide to six words per line and six lines per slide. And use bullet points to help prioritize your points visually. And it's one of the biggest problems I've seen with people using PowerPoint is that they want to put everything that they're saying on their PowerPoint slide. And usually when that happens, I want to stop paying attention to the presenter and just read their PowerPoint slide. Uh, so that loses an effectiveness for me. Also, you want to make sure that you keep the design simple, easy to read, and appropriate for the content. Because that design theme makes the presentation visually consistent. If you, design, if you design your own layout, use similar design elements and limit the number of design elements, using them sparingly throughout the presentation. Otherwise, your audience may get overwhelmed and not understand the message. You also want to choose attractive colors that make the slide easy to read, using contrasting complementary colors for slide backgrounds and text make the text easily readable. Also, you want to choose fonts and styles that are easy to read and emphasize important text. As a general rule, use no more than two fonts in a presentation and vary the font size. If you are giving an on-screen presentation, use nothing smaller than 24 points of font uh, on there. So you want to make sure that that font size is no smaller than 24 points. Use bold and italic attributes selectively. And also, you want to make sure you use your visuals to help communicate the message of your presentation. And of course, once you reach this um, slide right here, just hit your space bar to go back to your presentation. But as I was saying on there, you do want to use your visuals to help communicate the message of your presentation. Now, commonly used visuals include clip art, photographs, charts, worksheets, tables, and videos. Whenever possible, replace text with a visual. But be careful not to overcrowd your slides. White space on your slides enhances the presentation. Now in step two on your um, steps on page 88, it tells us that we want to go down to slide five. So we click on slide five here. And once we're, at, uh, once we're on slide five here, we want to go ahead and go up to the slides group that is on the home tab and then we want to click on the section button here and then we want to click on add section and when we do that the presentation is divided into two sections which appear in the thumbnails pane the section you created is called the untitled section and the section for all the slides before the new section is called the default section. Sections help you organize your slide into logical groups. Now you can also move, delete, collapse, and expand the section in the thumbnails tab or in the slide sorter view. In step three, it tells us that we want to right click the untitled selection here or a section, and then we want to rename the section. And we're going to rename this to Tour Packages. And then we're going to click on Rename. And of course now you'll notice that the section has been renamed. Then we're going to click on the Slide Sorter button. And of course you'll notice that here's the default section up here. And then of course our Tour Packages section down here as well. 
And of course, make sure that you do compare your screen to as you see on here. And then finally, double click on slide one. Then we want to add your name to the notes and handouts footer. And to do that, once again, we're going to go to the insert tab, then header and footer, click on the notes and handouts tab, and then on your footer, make sure you add in your name. Once you do that, you can click on apply to all, and then go back through and evaluate the presentation using the guidelines that's on page 88. Then you want to go through and submit this presentation uh, onto course sites. Now, of course, before we finish off this video, let's take a look on page 89. Uh, a couple things that we want to take a look at. First of all, let's talk about setting permissions. Because in PowerPoint, you can set specific access permissions for people who review or edit your work so that you have better control over your content. For example, you may want to give a user permission to edit or change your presentation but not allow them to print it. You can also restrict a user by permitting them to view the presentation without the ability to edit or print the presentation. Or you can give the user full access or control of the presentation. To use this feature, you must first have the access to an information rights management service from Microsoft or another rights management company. Then, to set user access permissions, click the File tab, and then click the Protect Presentations button, and then point to the Restrict Access, and then click on the appropriate action. Now, finally, take a look on Figure D-18, and of course, that is an example of a poorly designed slide. And of course, when you evaluate your presentations, if your slide looks like this one, uh, I would go back through and redesign it because here's a few little elements that's on there that will actually affect how people see your presentation. Uh, first of all, if your fill color doesn't match your theme. So if you have, maybe in this case, a pink background with a blue fill color, doesn't look good, doesn't match. If your font color uh, is not in contrast, like if it's yellow on blue or red on black, uh, that's too confusing. It actually kind of hurts the eyes to look at it. So you want to stay away from those types of fonts. Also, you want to stay away from too many fonts and font styles because it can become too cluttered looking. Because uh, a lot of people, when they see this type of slide, they don't pay attention to it because it's just too busy. Don't use too many words because then you can take a look on that slide and everything that they you know that the speaker is going to say is on there. So why even pay attention to the speaker because it's all on there. That's when, you know, it's time to go check your cell phone. You know, you know, I need to text somebody. I need to go check my email. I need to go do this instead of pay attention to the speaker. Uh, don't use too many font colors because once again, it's a distractor because that's kind of like why in the world are they using that? Um, if shapes serve no purpose, don't use them uh, on there. If there's too much text on the slide altogether. Because if you have a whole lot of text that needs to go on a slide, split it up into multiple slides. That's the best thing to do uh, that's on there. Because on this slide, you can see that there's a lot of things. And it talks about agricultural statistics and then gross cash income for 2010. You can always split those two up into two separate slides. And then, of course, on the bottom, uh, that could easily be, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, a footer on the slide instead of actually just, you know, having that bold red down at the bottom. But, you know, do go through and make sure that your presentation is very eye appealing, very catching, and that uh, you do take a look at the ba uh, bottom of page 88 and do evaluate each and every one of your presentations using those uh, five main guidelines. And that, you know, if you follow through those guidelines, your presentation should look good and should look professional. And that concludes the information that's on pages 88 and 89. You're ready to move on to the assignments, so go ahead and make sure that you do upload your walkthrough to course sites and you're ready for the next assignment.